And now you're going to die. What is up guys, Alex here back with another tutorial and I have a video on how to do the bullet waves effects in Sony Vegas. Now you do need Sony Vegas Pro 8, 9 or 10 or 11. If you have Movie Studio Platinum then you can't do this effect because we have to use a few tools which are included in the uh, Movie Platinum series. So I know this effect is pretty similar to the ripple effects which you can find on my channel but there are some settings to uh, make it more synchronized with your footage and you can accurately place it with each shot on the video clip and plus I uploaded this video just to keep all of my subscribers more active. I have a few more videos coming up until I start the motion graphics tutorials uh, next week. So the first thing we should do is set markers on each individual shot that you make. Now to do this, the one of the easiest ways to do this is to use the scrub control and it's this little triangle right here. If you set it down to 0 0.7, 0 0.07 for example, it's going to play 7% of the normal playback rate of the entire video, not just one video clip. So once you set it to 0 0.07 and play it, and while you're playing it through, you want to press M, M on your keyboard to make a marker on each shot that you hear. So let's play it and go through. So after you finish making all the markers on each individual shot, next what you want to do is go ahead and create another video track on top of this one and we're going to go into our media generators and go to our solid colors and with our solid color we're not going to actually be using any of the colors instead we're going to make it an alpha mat or actually make it transparent so let's go to our colors and get this little tool and drag it down all the way down on this checkerboard option. So now we can't see any of the colors since it's transparent. Now we want to shorten it down and have it begin at the first marker and have it end at the start of the second marker. Next what we want to do is get the fade offset on the top left hand corner of the uh, media generator and this little icon should pop up. I'm going to click it and drag it all the way to the right and go into your video FX or transitions and go to iris, get the circle white out border, drag it on top of the fade offset. So, so go ahead and create probably around two or one more video track and we're gonna duplicate all of these until it fills out all the markers on our timeline. So the easiest way is to hold control, select the solid color and just drag it and that will duplicate uh, media generators. So once you duplicate it how many times you set the markers you want to go ahead and rearrange it according to how we did it with the first one. So you want to have it start at a shot and have it end at the beginning of another marker. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this video because uh, this should be pretty self-explanatory you just keep on repeating a step until you filled out all the markers. So after you finish setting each uh, media generator according to each marker, you may notice that you have some spaces in between each uh, of the transitions. And this is a good thing because we want to try and elongate each transition for as long as possible because the longer the transition the slower the uh, rings will expand and that's what we want so uh, that later on when we actually do the ripple effect we don't want to have too much distortion to a point where you can't see anything in the video clip so all you have to do is drag out each clip and drag along the fade offset all the way to the entire length of the video And you want to keep repeating that step until you get to all of them. 
So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this video because this is, again, pretty self-explanatory. All you do is elongate each transition so that the transition is much more slower and that's what we want. So once you have finished uh, filling out all these spaces in between each transition, we we'll to go ahead and preview it and see how it looks like. Well, actually, let's set the triangle back to the normal playback rate. So right click on the triangle and set it to 1. And this is what the media generator should look like after you're all done. Now, we don't want this entire mess on our uh, video project. So what we're going to do is solo these tracks so that the only thing that's appearing are these transitions. And we want to render this out first and then insert that rendered clip back into our footage. So set yellow markers between the start and end of the footage. Go to File, Render As, and we're going to render it as a main concept. Now make sure Render Loop Region, if you go down, make sure that option is checked. Alright, and then go into Customize Template, and you want to set the encode mode to render using CPU only, and you don't want any audio in it. And I'm just going to name this the Bullet Waves Composite. Render. And we're just going to wait until it finishes rendering out. Now for the last part, we're going to go ahead and just delete all three tracks that have the transitions because we don't need them anymore. And we're going to go ahead and create an empty video track. And then go back to our desktop and drag that bullet waves composite back in. Now for the fun part, we're going to go into our compositing mode of this little bullet waves composite and set it to custom. And we're going to add the Sony height map. Now when you first browse through your footage, you notice that you have little black spots within your footage. So to remove that, we're going to set the edge pixel handling to wrap pixels around so that any pixels wrap around each black spot. And the elevation and the amplitude are pretty similar, but the amplitude is what actually increases the height distortion of the footage. So you want to put elevation all the way down, the height scale all the way up, and the amplitude to about 0.1. And it all depends on how much distortion you want in the video clip. If you want more distortion, what you can do is go back to your composite mode and set the smoothness to a lower value. And if you set it to a lower value, then you can see a wave more clearly, and those are the bullet waves. Now if you don't want any waves to be uh, coming down on this gun because it will distort it, what you can do is go into your composite and mask a small triangle out and set the feather type to both and the feather percent to about 8 and uh, go back to your masking and make sure the mode is negative so that this little section is cut out and the only thing that's showing is the bullet waves. So that's how you do the bullet waves effect. Again if you uh, like this video please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe for more videos and please give it a comment. I promise I'll have those Cinema 4D tutorials next week. I just ordered the computer parts a couple days ago, so they should be arriving either tomorrow or the day after. And I'll get everything running and uh, hopefully get out some Cinema 4D tutorials next week. So I'll see you guys next time.